Yo, it's Guido coming at you with the Tactics Talk, and we are going to talk Battle Pass. It has finally showed up. So Season 10 is here. You can see the mouse up there. That's one of the tanks that's in the Battle Pass. We're going to go through this a little bit, but first I want to show you some things that are in the shop that may kind of change how you start or how you go about getting the Battle Pass or perhaps the improved part of it. So we're really monetizing hard. We're not going to get too crazy into the, well, last time it was this or that or the other. It does seem to be getting a little uh, squeakier, <laughs> tighter, maybe, if you will. But we're just going to talk about what it looks like this time. So come over to the web page, go into the store, and go to Battle Pass. If you click on Battle Pass, you will find that there are three things that you can buy for this particular Battle Pass. Now, We'll talk about the gold. You can use pure gold to get the improved battle pass, but of course they have incentivized, monetized a little bit to try to get you to spend a little bit more money. You have three options if you desire to do so. You have the large option, medium, and small, but we'll start with the $43.93. This is on NA, by the way. If you go over there, you're going to find that what you get are the all three of the chapters uh, with the improved battle pass. So right off the bat, all three of your chapters will be improved battle pass. That means you're going to get the rewards on both sides, the free to play and the pay to play portion of it. Also, you will get some missions. Uh, you play one battle for 30 days. You can do that for 30 days straight, starting from the time you buy this thing. And you can get 250 gold per day. So my math shows 7,500 gold over 30 days. So for $43.93, you are getting 7,500 gold, provided you do all of the missions. So you got to play once every day. Doesn't count. It only counts for randoms. Does not count for whatever epic or whatever the big ones are called. Interesting choice. But there you have it. If you were to just buy the gold, 7,500, it would cost you for the improved battle pass, and the 7,500 you're getting from from the missions. That'd be 15,000. That's going to be uh, over 60 bucks. So this is a decent kind of uh, discount, I guess, to some extent. Obviously, if you have gold sitting around from Christmas and you just want to spend it that way, that's fine. But you're also getting with this one the little missions. So if we figure that 7,500 for the three battle passes, three, it's 7,500 that you're getting from the missions, provided you do all of the missions. If we go over here. Math in public is 15,000 gold, and that would end up costing you if you just bought the 15,000 gold on NA 63.25. So not a bad deal, actually, if you're in the market for some gold and you want to get the improved battle pass through that system right there. Your second option is not as expensive, but it is only getting you the three improved battle pass chapters that will cost you 28.79. So you're going to pay for it as opposed to using your gold that you might have already paid for. That would be 7,500 gold. So if we go over to the gold and we figure any amount, we go to 7,500. That would cost you, survey says, 33.92. But if you do it this way, you're only going to spend 28.79. So something to think about right there this is interesting i believe we did this last time there's a fourth character there's three characters in battle pass they've chucked out a fourth one to try to get you to spend 10 bucks <laughs> i can actually use a, a coupon i'll have to go back and see if the other ones allow a coupon but i can use a coupon on this one. Oh, that's not true that's available for me standby that's just a nope no coupons sorry sorry pal what this does is give some more missions on top of the missions for Battle Pass. Now, unfortunately, it doesn't really say what the missions are. Upon purchasing a series of missions with a crew member. Upon pur purchasing, you will get access to a series of missions, yada, yada. Also, you're going to get 1,000 battle, battle Pass points. Okay. Up to 500 bonds. Up to three training booklets. I'm assuming you'll get that if you finish this thing. Universal manual, personal training manual. Hofu 2D style and Giselle Ardain reward crew member. Yep, get you coming and going, my friends. There's a lot of options right there. And actually, there's some pretty decent deals depending on if you were planning on spending money to get Battle Pass. The other way to do it is obviously come on in here to the 
client click on this for battle pass and as you can see like I do up here with a bunch of gold you probably have some for Christmas and you can use your 7,500 or you can buy one or two of the improved for 2,500 or 5,000 whatever mix and match thing you want to do but I wanted to throw out the stuff that's in the store so you can kind of make a decision early on if you want to go one of those ways before you start cruising in here and dropping gold on this so there are other options Let's go over to About Battle Pass because there's a little video here and I want to take a look at this. Da ding Okay, we got a book. Got somebody bailing up here. I don't know if someone's going away. I don't know what that is. Season 10 of Battle Pass. The first of many seasons in 2023. The first of many seasons. What? Two? Three? Ten? I don't know. Starts at the end of February. Okay. Over three chapters, the following tankers await you. Now the <laughs> this always cracks me up. I know you guys have been watching me for a while and probably uh, know more or less what I'm going to say about this. The, this whole thing where they make the story and all this stuff, it is really aimed... I don't know who it's aimed at. I'm assuming it's aimed at a younger crowd or maybe... I don't know. Maybe you guys like this. I think that the more mature tankers kind of look at this and roll their eyes to a large extent. Um, I don't know, man. I guess it works for selling the thing. I guess it's... I, I kind of feel like maybe it's just reflexive and and developers and game companies just think this kind of thing has to be provided. I don't know. I find it hokey and weird. We have Sandro Mancini. He's a lucky veteran who's ready for everything. Why? I don't know. I have no idea. Sandro Mancini, a lucky veteran who's ready for everything, will be in his Rinoceronte in the Knicks progressive style. Well, that's good. I did not know it was the Rinoceronte. I know I said it wrong, but I, it's better than Rhinoceronte that I've been saying. Rinoceronte. This one cracked me up. This is the uh, the German guy. They, ha they, have to they have to tread lightly with the German thing. I know that, but <laughs> this is great. A polyglot with... Can we, what is a polyglot? I don't often run into words I don't know the definition of. And I sorta maybe know this one. Uh, knowing or using several languages. Okay, a person who knows and is able to use several languages. So wouldn't you just call him a polyglot? <laughs> He's a, He's a multi-language guy that knows multi-languages, fellas. A polyglot. Use that in a sentence. Other than this one, all right? <laughs> Eight languages named Emil Keitel. Hmm. All right, Emil. Awesome. With the knowledge of eight languages named Emil Kittel, Kittle, plus his sorry. mouse in the Wustenschiff style. Rebecca Holmberg, the best spy in covert operations. Why, why is, why is she a spy and why is she in a tank, and, and why, <laughs> why, why I don't. All right, just just. Read we'll command her who is fifteen sixteen in the Svadlfari style. All right. These commanders are very different. Yes. But what unites them is one goal and one common story okay. that you will discover during the season. What's more, all three are. Do you think you would, if you were going to go into this whole story thing, that you would kind of lay some groundwork for what the story is? Are ready to lead you through endless sands and onto rewards. Endless. Sands. Most rewards are familiar, but there are also new ones like bounty hardening. Okay, so that's important. Bounty hardening. That's a new type of bounty thing that's out there. Remember that, as last year, I believe you can only get one of these things. For example. It'll help you survive not only under the scorching sun, but also in the hottest of battles. What does it do for me in the scorching sun? Not a damn thing. It just helps me in the battle. Okay. In the items for points section of the in-game store, you will find styles New from tanks. Battle Pass Season Two 7 up. and 9. And don't forget about the items for tokens section of the in-game store as well. First and foremost are Tier 9 vehicles, of course. And there are... All right. I don't have those. I don't have access to them. In theory, we're going to get access to them potentially on 
or press accounts. Whether or not I take up that take them up on that and do reviews on it, I don't know. I will get these two eventually. I think we're getting enough coins. We'll look at that in just a minute. You are going to get a little less, I think, in terms of buying power. I think there maybe is a few less coins, or if there isn't a few less, it's the same amount. And the prices, as you can see, we've got a little bit of a price creep going on. In addition, you're going to notice that some of the other tanks from last year didn't go down in price. There are additions to their ranks. 27 and 24. Sturdy and confident. 27 and 24 is 47, 51 math in public. Is that about right? That sounds about right. 51 coins, my friends. That's a lot. C-58-2 with a powerful gun and reliable armor. Okay. Oh, the, the 120 Pounce, Project O7HK with B, two firing modes. It's menacing and effective in whichever mode it uses. That's interesting. It's effective in whichever mode. We'll have to look at that. Here's another new important feature that will appear in the middle of the season. Collections are where... Okay, we heard about collections. There's actually some coins involved with this whole collection thing. I don't know how much actual effort from you this requires or if it just gets filled in but now we've got this bloody collection thing and there's I think three coins involved with this potentially and then they just say it's not until the middle of the season so it looks like maybe the information the exact information on how exactly that works is potentially not out there right now from what I can tell where you will be able to see all your gathered customization elements from all seasons starting with season 10 you can get up to three additional tokens for collecting these elements a reward decal and secret materials that will uncover the details of the story of three commanders will also be available. So as you do that, the story will be shown. If you're interested in that, you can watch the story. What what I don't really get from that is whether it's three for the whole year. Are there are we talking about we have to collect from all the battle passes? That there was some mixture of language in there that didn't make a whole lot of sense to me. I mean, if you figure it out, let us know down in the comments there. It's not exactly clear, but hopefully it will be when it comes out. More details about collections will come later. There you go. And for now, stay tuned. Collect reward. I don't I don't understand this. I don't understand this. More details about stuff that's critical to your planning on how you want to go through battle pass. We'll give you that shit later. I don't get it. I don't why is that why is it such a secret? What <laughs> is it not I don't know, is it not finished? Is it uh I don't get it. Maybe there's a reason, perhaps when it is all revealed to us. We shall understand exactly what it is uh, that is going on here. Learn all the secrets of the desert. Secrets. And fight in style. All right, and that's it. That's it for that. Let's go back. Now let's take a look at the points. This is very similar to last time. You can get points in random battles. Top three in a victory, seven. Top ten, five. Eleventh through fifteenth. Too bad, sucka. Uh, in a defeat, five and three, as it shows right there. The core vehicles are the Renacerante, the Udez 1516, and the Mouse, as shown in the video right there. Those are the ones that will give you some extra. So, for whatever reason, these different tanks have different bonuses. I don't get it. I couldn't even begin to understand why they would have different bonuses. It, it defies imagination. But for whatever reason, uh, the Renacerante gives you plus three for a top three. The Udez gives you plus two for a top five. And the mouse gives you plus one for top ten. I suppose there's some rhyme or reason. It's easier to get your plus one in the mouse because you only have to be top ten. You get more but the, in Renacerante, but you've got to be top three. Okay, so I kind of sort of get the, the trade-off there. Why is it like that? I don't know. I don't know. Why couldn't they just all have a certain bonus? No idea. The other way is frontline. So we've got randoms. We've got frontline. And we're going to have onsl Onslaught. So Frontline and Onslaught will be going on at some point in the year during the Battle Pass, more than likely, from what we can tell. Obviously, you get points for it, so they must be coming up. And it's nice that you can then continue your Battle Pass point getting playing Onslaught or playing Frontline. So I like that. Notice that there's nothing listed there for Steel Punter, Reborn, Reimagined, Redone, Reattack, uh, Revenge of whatever so not listed whether that's actually true and there's no points for that i don't know we should uh, hopefully find out a little while later okay so those are the points this is set up pretty much the same battle pass here you go into the missions you got your battle pass clicker clicker come over here for items for tokens 
and we will go in and take a quick look at the tanks. We've got the Project 07 for 27, and we have the BZ58-2 for 24. Again, math and public, 47, 51 points. So for me, I'm just going to use the coins to grab these things rather than uh, spend the money. Although a couple of those are actually a fairly decent deal. We'll go and we'll just do Sandstorm for Giggles and Renis Garante is going to be the first one we're going to do. So we'll activate the chapter. Actually, I've changed my mind, actually. Actually, I've changed my mind, actually. I think I'm going to go Dune Road first because I want to play the 1516 as part of my 100 Battle Challenge. I'm going to add that into the list. So we're going to activate the chapter. So we activate. Remember, you have to activate the standard chapter thing and then you click affirmative because the more clicks the better down at the bottom it says purchase we're going to purchase the improved pass it will come up and say which one do you want to do or you can do three and one uh, is this going to take me to the what's that going to take me to oh okay it's taking me to the packages all right so don't really want to do that that way that's a link that will take you back to the store if that's what you want to do we'll jump back in here and we'll just do it with gold standard standard and will active active chapter so that's how you know which one it is you click on that and we shall purchase and off we go all right that being said let's count up the coins per chapter chat yes ch uh, chapter per section chapter season chapter section I believe this is a chapter all right let's just scroll through this a bit these are all pretty standard guys you've got some styles you've got the progressive style thing going on you've got coins you've got PRs days of premium it's always nice to get those credit boosters we have directives we do have bonds as well you can get there's slots we have blueprints and training books pretty much the standard stuff so let's go through here and see how many of these coins we get so there's one here the first one we're gonna get here is for having the bonus so that's one two three four Keep on going for five, six, I believe it's seven, and that should be it. All right, seven with the improved battle pass. If we do not have the improved battle pass, we're going to lose three, I believe. One, math and public, one, two, three. So that would be four. That would mean the most you could get is 12. All right, coins will collect over all the battle passes. How many are going to be this year? It didn't say. It said multiple or many or whatever it said. I think three. That's just what it was, I believe, last year. I think that's about all that they can stuff into a year before you get to Christmas. So that being said, if there are seven for improved battle pass and you did improve for all of them, that's 21 per season times three is 63 plus the bonus one, three, however that works. I don't know. Not sure. All right. Is that about right? I think it is. Seven times three is 21 times three is 63. I, I think that math's correct. Fix me if I'm wrong down there. Otherwise, if you don't get the improved, you're getting four times three is 12 times three is 36. So if you're free to play, you're going to get one of the new tanks and maybe one of the others, depending on what's left over at that point. If you buy the improved battle pass, you will get enough to get both tanks. 63 plus whatever else is in there is enough to is more than 51 at least I think so again math and public I could be wrong but that looks like the basic math plus at the end you get the commander and then we've got the bounty item that you get now remember the bounty item that you can get is down here on the improved side so there are no bounty equipment slots or anything cool like that on the free to play side all the bonds are there that's nice but the bounty equipment is locked behind. There's some other standard equipment too, although I don't know if you even get the standard equipment from this. It doesn't look like it. I don't see any standard equipment even up there. So you can get a piece of standard equipment and then we get the bounty. The bounty, what we have now, guys, is gun laying, rammer, vents, optics, stab, protection technology, rotation, aiming, exhaust, turbocharger, and now hardening. Guess what's not here? What's not here is what I think we were told was potentially going to be here. And that is the experimental components or whatever. Not here. So I don't know. I don't know where that's going to be added, if it's going to be added, what the possibilities are for that thing. If we come back to items for tokens, I think... There we go. All right. So also, and I 
glossed over this, but there are now the bounty stuff down here you can get for tokens. So do your math, kind of pay attention to it. Understand that I believe you can, yes, it says available one. I think, as I recall, you can only buy one of these things. One of these pieces of equipment is the hardening here. It must be, yes, there it is. Hardening is here. It's behind my icon right there. I think you can only buy one of these per season. I think, which means you, you need to spend your three on the bounty hardening if that's what you want to get, or if you just want to get your bounty thing for coins. So you can kind of scrape the three off the top of your math uh, if you're going to get that piece of equipment for whatever it is. So for me, it's 51 plus three is 54. So that should be fine. Uh, plus another three is 57 plus another three is 60. Uh, if I'm correct that you can get one of these per season, but I don't know it, this may be one per year. I don't remember how the math went on this and it doesn't really say anything about it. Let's see. Item availability. Items for tokens will be available until December 20th, 2023. Purchase and proof pass. Uh, how to receive tokens awarded? Blah blah blah. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'd have to dig into that. If anybody knows, put that down in the comments because I don't remember how that went. <clears throat> Whether you could buy one of these per season, so we'll get to up to three of these in a year. I, mm, I don't know. I don't remember. Or if it's just one of these in a year. We'll have to see what happens with that. All right, guys. So there you go. That's battle pass, man down and dirty you got some of the basic numbers anything i goofed up or glossed over or missed please chuck that down in the comments for everybody else so we can all learn together on what's going on with this i'm going to be running around in the 1516 i do believe hopefully i didn't choose poorly i often do so i wouldn't be surprised uh interesting looks like maybe i've already fin no it's not uh, french that's why it's swedish that's why you can't see it how many battles do I have in this silly thing? 28, so there you go. I should be able to get some points out of that thing as it is not up to 100 battles. The mouse is, unfortunately, but the Renascenati is not. So those are the two tanks I'll probably be concentrating on. Remember, let's also remember that, and I didn't go through the numbers, but remember that you have a maximum amount of points that you can put on each tier, and six tier six is the most bang for your buck. It's 100 points max. But at the 100th point, you get 15 more free points. That's a 15% boost, and that's your most bang for the buck. So tier 6s are the way to go. The other thing is, last time there was a special 4th section, and people saved up the last battle on their tier 6s. I don't know what to tell you there. I have no essay on anything like that happening. There is one free, or not free, but one extra commander you can get by buying it for 10 bucks and doing those missions. But as far as something at the end where you might want to use those points, I don't know. I have no essay on that. Uh, that's the problem with some of these things with Wargaming. They you know, they throw it out one year and then they don't let you know whether or not that's a thing that you might want to plan for. An option there is to just bring them up to you know the high 90s and let them sit. And then if you get wind that it's not happening, go ahead and finish them off and boost yourself through with an extra 15 points for each one of those guys. I think really, if you're a fan of the game and you play in any with any kind of regularity, it doesn't really matter which tier you play. However, if you're more casual and you don't play quite as much, you might want to concentrate on your tier sixes to burn through the points as fast as possible. So a couple options, only you know how much you play or whether that's going to be a possibility right there. And your speed with which you go through will obviously have something to do with your win rate as you get less for losses. And it will have something to do, obviously, with your ability to place higher on the teams because you get more points for being higher on the teams. There you go. That's all I've got on it. Enjoy your battle pass. Kind of excited. I, I'm not actually excited about either one of those tanks, to be quite honest. They're both kind of, I think, lackluster. Maybe, if I think about it, maybe the German TD thing could be kind of interesting. We'll see. But we have that kind of tank in the Sturves, so I don't know how much different that one is. I do know that when it goes into siege mode, several different things change on it. And I want to say it's more like a Kunza where it has some uh, DPM changes. But I'll have to dig a little further into those numbers. The T-58-2 just seems like a, a kind of basic uh, heavy tank. And what's interesting is, let's just double check this. should be able to add that into the comparison because it should be in the files by now. 
I don't think that tank has rockets unless they changed it. About the time they were ready to release it, I don't think it did have rockets on it. And that's a bit of a bummer. Let's find out what happens here. If we come down and we have the speed, I don't see it, right? So there's no rocket speed shown. So this is more of just a standard 1H tier 9 heavy tank. 520 Alpha, 250 Pen, minus 8 gun depression. Okay, kind of in line with the other tier 9 reward tanks or prize tanks, whatever you want to call them, in terms of DPM. Decent turret at 230, but not amazing. And it does 35 with 15 backwards. So looks like a fairly bog standard kind of heavy at tier 9. I think in terms of uniqueness, it's going to probably be the the German tank. In fact, let's just grab that real quick since we're belaboring the crap out of this video. We might as well continue on with it. Go over to Germany and get our tier 9s out, TDs. And there's that little bad boy right there. So we've got a... 260 pen, which is pretty nice. A 360 alpha, not huge. So this is more of a pew pew gun. Minus 12 gun depression. That's kind of crazy. Gun loading in six seconds and a half. What is the aim time? We've got a 2.45 aim time and a 0.34 accuracy. That's not really too special. Got 0.35 really for the 58-2. Now I don't see its information. Switching to siege mode is three seconds. It's got either 65 or 25, depending on whether it's siege mode or not. So it still kind of moves around in siege mode at 25. Not too bad. Actually, that's reverse. Sorry. 65, 25. 25 backwards. Is that right? Interesting. 25 backwards. I don't see the other numbers on this. I'm going to have to dig into this. That's quite a bit of DPM, though, at 3,313. It's kind of insane, actually. And I don't see... Gun traverse aim time... I could have swore the DPM changed when it went into Siege Bone, but maybe it doesn't. Don't know. I'll dig into that a little more, get some better info on that. That's all I've got, guys. Enjoy your battle pass. Let me know what you think about it down below. Uh, did they change it too much? Are they getting a little too tight? Do you care? Does it matter? Are you going to buy any of those packages? Very interested in that question myself. That's all I've got. We will see you.